Hey all, Matt here with CryptoBlick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to update your Ledger Nano X. Yes, I know Ledger suspended their recent Ledger Recover function. Well, I'm gonna show you how to update it, let you see what is available in terms of the new firmware. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. So the first thing you're gonna do here, go ahead and pull up Ledger Live. Go ahead and put in your password. And once you are in, let's go ahead and connect our Nano X here, as you can see. From here, let's go ahead and click on my ledger, but it's gonna say, hey, put in your pin and then click the two buttons to allow ledger manager. So we're gonna do our, our pin code right now. Then select the check mark and we are in. Now it says connect and now it's saying loading here on the screen. From there, you're gonna see right here, let me see if I can get closer here. There, allow a secure connection with Ledger. So do both buttons. There we go, and now we are in. And then you're gonna see here up at the top here, guys, it's gonna say update firmware to 2.2.1 is available. Um, you can also see I have some apps that are available as well. I've got uh, Bitcoin Solana, um, but let's, first things first, let's update the firmware, and then I'll show you how to update the apps. Super easy, but let's start there, okay? So let's do the update the firmware. All right, and so then it also has this, you know, this warning here. Make sure you have your 20 word recovery phrase. Always rem remember to write that down. I have told this many times in videos in the past. Do not put it on a digital app or some digital form on your computer because that can always be hacked. You need to write this down or use one of those uh, metal punch cards to punch in your 24 keyword seed phrase. Use those options, never put it digitally on your computer or your phone, okay? So then it says, what's new with the iOS version 2.2.1? Well, you guys know the iOS version features the launch of Ledger Recover, which they did suspend, but I'm doing this not only to show you how to update your Nano X, but also to give you guys an insight in terms of what is on this new firmware if you haven't done so already, okay? All right, before you update, make sure you update Ledger Live through the no notification banner or download the latest version of Ledger Live, okay? Ledger Recover, starting today, you can subscribe to Ledger Recover. Ledger Recover is an ID-based key recovery service that provides a backup for your secret recovery phrase. Note, Ledger Recover is currently compatible with the Nano X, available on Android and iOS, running the latest Ledger Live version. At the moment, a passport national identity card issued by the European Union, the United Kingdom, Canada, or the United States is required to subscribe to the service. We will be covering more countries and adding support for more documents in the coming months. Stay tuned. So I'm not going into what this is all about. You guys have seen plenty of info online. I'm just showing you how to update the firmware but they did suspend this currently until they open source uh, the actual software for how they are doing Ledger Recover. So just putting you at ease there, um, but let me move forward here to show you what is on the firmware, okay? Go ahead and click continue. And then for a quick view for you guys, you can see here on the X here, you can see the progress as well here on the Nano X. And of course on your screen here on your laptop, it is updating there as well. All right, so it shows that we went from 2.1 to 2.2.1. Confirm install on the Nano X. So let's go and pull this up here. You can see that here. New firmware. Slide to the right. Confirm update. So push both buttons here. Processing. Okay, now it is processing that update. Wait for the installation to finish on your Nano X. Unlock the Nano X to complete installation. All right, so it just downloaded everything. It's restarting. I now have to put in my four digit pin. And then once you have it in there, go ahead and uh, click on both buttons here to uh, select it or accept it, I should say. All right, so now we're inside. Restore settings. So operating system update success. Please reinstall the apps on your device. So then let's do reinstall apps. And so that's, and that's what it's gonna do currently as we move forward. Oh, but then also here on the Nano X, we say allow secure connection. Do that again, both buttons. You're just basically telling Ledger Live, hey, yes, it's okay to perform this update. All right, so now as you can see on my screen, we are now updating and installing the apps that we had already. Let me show you here. As you can see, I've got different 
apps here, Polkadot, Ethereum, Cardano, and it's updating. You can see it here on the Nano X as well as right here. So it's installing Bitcoin currently. And then, okay, that's installed now. It should be working on Solana next. From there, we'll go to Cardano. And we're progressing here onto just the Ethereum app. As you can see, we've got one more app to go. It is almost complete. And there we go. And we are updated. So that is how you update your Ledger Nano X. One other thing I like to show everyone here, if you're curious about the Ledger Live software and what is in those updates, come on over to the settings gear icon here. Go click on that, do about. You see the version Ledger Live 2.60. You can do details here and it'll show you exactly what is in the most recent Ledger Live updates there for you if you are ever curious. So just wanted to point that out to you guys as well. And uh, so yeah, that is how you update the Ledger Nano X. If you guys have any further questions, put them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to help you out the best way that I can. Even if I have to go out and research some articles and share them with you, I'll do my best in that regard. But do remember, Ledger Recover has been suspended at the recording of this video, so it will not be available at this time. They are planning to open source uh, the code behind the software to make it happen. Um, I'm gonna give my opinion later on in another video that will come out later, but just wanted to let you guys know that currently at this time, with this new update in this, uh, this um, recording, I should say, it's not available to be used at this time. So, hope that was helpful. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I'll see you when I see you.